What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna create uh, renders for our rig curves in Maya and Arnold And I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna be pretty fast tutorial And also really easy to render, it's gonna take you like a few minutes And you can have uh, your controls uh, ready to render in Maya and Arnold If you wanna, you know, demo your rig and uh, the animations So without further delay, let's get started Okay, so this is a scene I have. I have this uh, dinosaur rig, the Brontosaurus, from our library, and we are just gonna demo for you guys quickly how to use this uh, rendering curves in Arnold. So first, let's go and select one of these controls. So let's select this shoulder control, and then let's uh, Control A, and then go to the settings, and you can see here there's this Arnold tab, and immediately there is a render curve uh, option available. So let's check that and then let's do a quick render. Okay, so you can see here there is something showing but it's not really very visible. So we need to adjust the curve width. So now it's really like small, so let's go like keep increasing kind of like midway. Let's make sure we save and then let's uh, render again. Okay, so now you can see the control is uh, now much more visible But there is some uh, issues, there's like shadows and then maybe it's too thick now Comparing to, you know, we want it, we don't want it to be too thick, we want it to be just like enough to be visible So let's adjust this uh, curve width again, let's lower it maybe somewhere around 1.49 and uh, here you can see in the options here we have the primary visibility cast shadows all these uh, we can uncheck cast shadows so this curve doesn't have any shadows anymore so let's save this image and then let's render okay so now we get a uh, much thinner uh, curve and also there's no shadows anymore and this will speed like render times usually if you have like lots of curves casting shadows okay so now we got the curve looking uh, kind of similar the next uh, step here is the sample rate this basically uh, related to the, the like the curve detail so the, the lower the rate it's gonna be less matching that uh, actual curve so let's uh, lower it down really low so I can show you guys if you put it to one and we save this uh, image and then we render So you can see now, before and after, it's not as smooth and it's not matching the actual curve. So I like to put it usually like 10. 10 is kind of matching uh, pretty good. So that's, so you can see now, this was 5, this is 10, it's, it's better. But also, the render time gets a little bit higher, so we want to keep in mind when you're doing these uh, settings about the render time. And then the last thing here is the curve shader. Basically, this is the color. And we want to make sure these colors are matching our uh, rig colors. So now this is red. So if you change it red from here, sometimes it doesn't render. Uh, but let's see. Let's just double check. So it didn't render. So another way what we can do is basically click on this checker box and then go to ramp and then uh, in this ramp just change the color to the color that you want uh, your control to be matching. So we can click on both and change them to red and then render. And this usually does the job here you can see. And as, as you can see like you can customize this even more. Like you can add points, change to the color like whatever you want, and then get something uh, the control will be basically matching. But this is like you know for later like advanced stuff. It's not necessarily when you wanna just do uh, the color of the control, just matching the colors of your uh, scene. So so this is good. Now we can go back. 
and then if you scroll down under visibility you can see here there is uh, this mode and this mode also related to the curve itself as well so you can change from ribbon the current mode and then we can change it to thick and you can see here there is a gap so when you change it to thick and you render so let's save and then let's render and you can see this gap here is uh, disappeared so this is just yeah, another options you guys have uh, when you're working with curves you can like check which one like work uh, best for your situation but I just wanted to show you guys that this is also a really good way to rendering curves in Maya using Arnold and it's gonna be really fast and uh, as you can see here this scene you're gonna render all these curves if you want to show a demo of your rig while the creature is moving so it's a really good way to show to render these controls on top of the animation so you can show like the controls what they're doing and uh, that's gonna be really helpful so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i publish a new video feel free to check our website 3dmozworld.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care